What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trend. You tuned in again to another Chosen One video, all right? This message is only for Chosen Ones and Chosen Ones only. If you're not chosen, this won't even make any sense to you. It just will not vibrate with your spirit or your soul, all right? But if this message resonates with you, don't forget to subscribe after this video is over with. Um, and also, stay tuned to the end of this video, man, because I got something very special that I want to tell you, something very special that I want to announce, all right? But listen closely, because this is the truth, all right? It is laid out in the word. As a matter of fact, I just got through reading the word and, and looking at it for myself, all right? God said in the Holy Scriptures, all right, the most famous book in the world, the Bible, it says, do my anointed no harm, do not touch my prophets okay god made it clear in the bible and, and the way the way it's written it's like i ain't gonna say it no more i ain't gonna say it no more put some respect on my kind all right that's it they don't get no ifs ands buts no second chances no forgiveness nothing god laid it out plain and clear in the bible go read it for yourself he made he made it out plain and clear in the bible he said do not harm do not touch my anointed ones. He mean the chosen ones. Do not touch my prophets, all right? Because that's going to cost you a lot. Might even cost you your life, all right? And then it goes on to say, in the next uh, verse, it goes on to say, and then God brought famine upon the whole land. For one person, God brought famine upon the whole land. Took away their food supply. They took away their water. This is what the Bible says if you do something wrong to, to, to the chosen ones. So I'm about to tell y'all in this video, man. First and foremost, go ahead and comment below and let me know right now. Don't be don't be ashamed, okay? Because if you're a chosen one, it's all about being having humility. That's why you're the chosen one, okay? But go ahead and comment below and right now and say, Trent, I've been hurt. Or just say, yeah, I've been hurt before. Yeah, just go ahead and comment below and get this video a thumbs up if you know it's about to resonate with you, okay? Just get this video a thumbs up right now. Let's get this algorithm ticking and say, yeah, Trend, somebody made me cry, all right? All right? Listen, if you make the chosen one cry, if you hurt the chosen one physically, I would even say verbally, all right? If you try to harm the chosen one, it's going to cost you big time. All right. Those people are the ones in the Bible who you don't touch, man. All right. You probably can get away with anything with anybody else that ain't on the, the same frequency and the same page as God's will. But one thing you you setting yourself up for, for, for death. All right. If you mess with the chosen one. OK. And this is why um, chosen ones, chosen ones have a, a heart of gold. The most sweetest. Most tender loving, most easygoing people on the earth, slow to anger, um, just the most peaceful, the most the, the, the most nicest people that you could ever run into, man. The the best beautiful energy that you can possibly imagine. I Me mean, personally, I've met chosen ones in my life before, and I know that person was chosen because I can tell by the way they treat me. It's just too good. It's just so nice, man. And I've always made sure that if I don't talk to that person no more, I ended on a good note, like. I know I'm not your friend anymore. Um, I'm just, I'm sorry, but I know you're going to do good things. And I really appreciated your time and I value you. I made sure, because I knew, I could feel that it was something different about them. You know, I, I'm not stupid. All right. And I can feel the energy on this person. It's like, oh yeah, that, that's, that's, that's somebody special. I already know that's somebody special right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They special. And I always, and I always made sure in the back of my mind, something always was telling me. Don't mess with that. Don't mess with that girl like that. Or don't mess with him like don't don't do him dirty. Don't do don't do him like that. And when you the chosen one, people can feel that energy. Now it's up to them whether or not they want to override it. And and that's that's when it gets bad. That's when it gets real. All right. Chosen ones are highly anointed spiritual people that have a special mission on earth for God. We're not talking about for the Power Rangers. We're not talking about for the president of the government. We're not talking about for the church. We're not talking about nothing worldly. 
We talking about these people work for the creator of the universe. The meaning, you don't mess with them, all right? And if you a chosen one and somebody hurt you or if somebody made you cry or if they put their hands on you, I can almost guarantee you if whatever that per whoever that person is in your life right now, I can almost guarantee you they down bad right now. I know for a fact. Comment below if I'm talking to you. They down bad right now. They not doing good right now. I know they not. I know they not. If you a chosen one and somebody did you wrong at your job, you know what I mean? They was undermining you at your job, underpaying you on purpose, overworking you on purpose, anything. Your boss talked down on you, tried to make a spectacle of you in front of everybody. They tried to put you on blast. I can guarantee you if you don't work at that job no more, that job, that company shut down. I can guarantee you. I already know that company is shut down. Because, see, this is what God, this is what God will do when you mess with these people, bro. He will shut and choke off everything. He will shut your whole family down. Won't nobody in your family be able to succeed if they did the chosen one? I mean, nobody. If you harm or hurt the chosen one, you down to come down with an illness, man. An illness, man. You know what I'm saying? It's serious. It's serious business, man. This is messing with a chosen one. It's it's worse than committing the most horrific crime. It's worse. It's worse than. I mean, it, it's worse than robbing the bank, man. You know what I mean? It's worse than beating up the judge. It's worse than anything on earth. If you mess and harm the chosen one, because because the Lord put it in the Bible, it's right there. It's right there. It's plain text. All right. This is a no fly zone. If you come over here, we shooting you down. That's basically what it says. And you know, what I mean, like if you're a true chosen one, and you being hurt. Don't worry about it, man. Don't even don't even get mad at the person. Don't try to retaliate. Don't react. Don't try to go get revenge. Don't do nothing. Because if you know you're the true chosen one, you really is, these people are going to get it. And you ain't even got to know nothing about it, man. You, you just going to be going about your everyday lifestyle. And then you're going to get the word. The word going to come up one day. And it's going to be like, I, I, don't, I don't even know where they at. They don't even exist no more. I'm telling you, man, it's real. It's really real. Somebody tell them all below that this is real. Somebody comment below and say, this is real. If you do the chosen one wrong, you might not even hear about that person no more. No more ever again. And you might not, you don't even know where they at. They probably not even living no more. You know what I mean? Person can come down. If somebody hurt, make the chosen one cry, that person that made you cry, they, they'll come down with sick sicknesses. You know what I mean? They'll come down with aliases, impediments on their body or something. You know what I mean? They teeth might start falling out. I'm for real, I'm for real, man. This is serious business. They might start getting haunted by ghosts. You know what I mean? God gonna give it to them. God gonna send his wrath upon them. You know what I mean? You see what he did when they messed with the one in the Bible? You feel me? He brought famine on the whole land. Meaning the city or the town or wherever the area was, he choked. They couldn't eat. They couldn't drink or nothing because they, they did that person wrong. This is what happens in real life still to this day. God is still on the throne. Still to this day, God will mess up a whole place if they do the chosen one wrong. If you was convicted of doing something wrong and you the chosen one. Oh, you best believe God, God going to have his way with all the people that went against you. You can best believe it, bro. These people, these people get in car accidents, traumatic life situations, man, is going to happen to these people. All right. Now, I'm not bragging on it. I'm not telling you like this is something that you want to happen or, you know, but this is the word of God. This is what he stated. This ain't what I'm saying. OK, but even I've seen it to be true. You know what I mean? I personally know some people that have called me and talked to me about their situations and they told and they and, they, and you look on their situation other people who was hating on them. You look at they I listen to their situation and listen to the people who jealous of them. I listen to the situation of the people who never really gave them a chance, who didn't never see their goals and stuff like that. Man, these people told me the situation of that person now, they down bad. They hurting. They stuck. They can't even move. They can't even prosper. Nothing. Everything they do is bad luck. Everything they touch is break. It breaks. They can't get no big breaks. They can't win nothing. 
They can't do nothing because they did the chosen one wrong because God put a curse on them. And see, that's the worst. It's the worst thing you could do. The worst thing you could do is make the chosen one cry. Now, see, you probably you probably don't cry a lot. You know what I mean? But think about the time that you did cry. Just really just like relishing that real quick. Just think about the times you did cry and who made you cry. Now, I can guarantee you, if you look back on whatever happened, I can guarantee if you think about the, that situation and them circumstances that you was facing at the time, I can guarantee you, you getting the last laugh right now if you're the chosen one. See, the chosen one always get the last laugh at the end of the day. You will have people that that despise you and, you know, they, they know you an uh, empath. They know you extra sensitive. You know what I mean? They know you introverted and stuff like that and you don't really, you shy or whatever. And these people try to take advantage of you anyway. How stupid can you be? How can you... How can you try to defile somebody or try to hurt somebody who has not even tried to hurt you? How can you do that? But that's the stupidity and the ignorance of these bots. You feel me? They so stupid. They don't even know that the very person who was trying to help them, who was trying to be there for them and help them see a better future. The very person who was just trying to help them make it. You feel me? Who was trying to help them go somewhere and take their life from negative to positive. It's the same person who they throw up under the bus. Why? Because they just don't like them. Because they just do, They just feel too good. How can you hate somebody that make you feel good? You got to be a bot. You have to be a bot. And that's why it's written. And it's, it's in stone. All right? That's why it's written. Do not touch my chosen one. Do not touch my prophet. If anybody mess with a prophet, bro, bro, look at history and look at all the people that ever made a big impact in this world. Man, look at what happened to the world. Something failed. A whole empire failed. A whole civilization disappeared. You feel me? And then most of the time, it's operating around the chosen ones that come on the earth. The angelic beings that, that that is sent by God, you know what I'm saying? I always say, you know, I'll go back to the story of Sodom and Gomorrah where the God sent the, the, the city was so bad, God sent his chosen ones, his angelic being into the city to try to give them a chance. Hey, man, y'all going to change or y'all going to continue to just uh, live in lust? Y'all going to change? Y'all going to continue to live in lust and continue to live in perversion and Y'all can continue to live and hoard them and stuff like this. I'm just giving y'all a chance now. It was so bad, God had to send a chosen one to the place to give to give them a warning in physical form. Just like Jesus. When, this, when God sent a chosen one in your life, when God sent a chosen one to somewhere so they can change it, that's, the la that's why I say that's the last straw. That's it. And you see what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. Fire, brimstone, hell, everything rained down on the whole spot, killed everybody. Told up. I'm telling you, man, it's serious business when you mess with the chosen one. That's why I'm saying if you're the chosen one watching this video and somebody hurt you or they made you cry, that's the worst. That's the worst. They just basically sealed their fate. You feel me? They done gave themselves a life sentence, basically. Because they know they wasn't supposed to harm you. They could feel the energy. Don't mess with her. Don't mess with her. Don't do her dirty like you done done everybody else dirty. Don't make her feel bad. All right? Don't do her like that. You feel me? Make sure that you clean up, apologize, or just let her go in peace. Let him go in peace. Don't try to pull down his empire. Don't try to keep his kid away from him. Do not do any of that to him. Because if you do, all hell is going to break loose on you, your family, them, him, her, them, everybody is going to get it when God sent his wrath. Because this is a spiritual battle. This ain't got nothing to do with the physical. See, people that mess with the chosen ones, they think that all they see is what they know. They think that if they just harm you in the physical, they won. <laughs> I made her cry. I made them cry. Yeah, I'm hurting him. I'm hurting him. See, they thinking in their worldly mind. They thinking in their flesh. But see, what we talking about, it comes from the spirit world. The spirit world. You mess with the chosen ones, God might haunt you in your dreams for the rest of your life. You can't even sleep no more. 
You mess with the chosen one. You might, God already know what you're going to do. You might come down with a disease if you mess with the chosen one. You can't, it ain't nothing you can do about it. You mess with the chosen one and you have a, you having a baby God to get rid of your babies. I'm, this is what it says in the word. He rained down famine on the whole land. He cut off. He, God is a God of vengeance. It ain't all sweet with God, y'all. That's why I be. T I fear God, honestly. Comment below if you fear God. I really do. I love God, but I also fear God. That's why I don't. That's why when I see something I don't supposed to have no business messing with, I leave it alone. I don't say too much. I don't even really, me personally, I don't even say that much in prayer no more because I already know God is not no game. I don't even try to give him little fa fairy tale uh, prayers and wishes. I don't even say nothing no more. I just say, thank you, God. Because <laughs> me personally, I done seen God do some things in my life, even to me, that have made me almost feel like, I got to ask for another chance because I already know, bro, I did wrong, bro. Like this, like take a breath because it's so, God is so much more bigger than man that he can make things be so bad that you be begging for mercy, bro. You be, I, I remember, I remember times in my own personal life where I've done things wrong or, you know, I've sinned against God and stuff like that. And I got, I, I didn't get punished for it because you never get punished. You just get a secret lesson. The lesson was so gut-wrenching that I, I had to beg for mercy for God to help me in the change. Like the change, I had to beg for mercy. That's how painful it is when you do something uh, against God. Now, just imagine, take that and magnify it by 10,000 times when you mess with a prophet or you mess with God's anointing one or you mess with uh, his chosen one. It's worse. You can't get out of it. It's worse. And especially if you put your hands on them and you harming them and you abusing them physically, that's the worst you can ever do. That's the that's the biggest crime in the universe that you could ever do. Right. So uh, I don't know who out there is a the chosen one and somebody made you cry or you hurting right now. Don't worry. You ain't got nothing to worry about. It's Trust me, they're going to get the karma. It's going to come back on them. You're going to be looking, watching this video now. You're going to be like. Five days from now, one year from now, you're gonna look back and you're gonna see that person life, and they gonna be, they gonna be, they gonna be down bad. They might even get strung out on drugs. You mean, you know what I'm saying? They gonna get stuck to an addiction, can't get off of it, can't stop doing it or nothing, because God has His, God put His judgment on them, and they can't get out of it because they did you dirty. They did you wrong. They physically abused you. They made you cry. They broke your heart. They hurt you. So anyway, that's all I got to say right now for that. Um, but anyway, I told you if you stayed to the end of this video, listen, y'all. Y'all got to get this book, this book, these books of wisdom. I got them in the comment section at the very top, y'all. Get at least one. It's like seven, eight books in there, man. Once you get these books, man, it's going to open your mind up to just so much more of li about life and energy and stuff, y'all. Like, this is the type of stuff I be reading. You know what I mean? I hope you bought the Frequency book, too. That's another book that I ain't got it with me today, but that's another book that I'm reading right now that is giving me therapy. It's helping me heal um, parts about myself that was hurt. You know what I'm saying? So if you, like, been hurt in the past and you the, the, the Decepticons hurt you and they hurt the Chosen One, all right, you still got to heal from that. Okay, it ain't, it ain't like God going to help you. He going to give you a book to read. You feel me? But he ain't going to do the work because you already got it inside you. You got the gift to be able to prosper inside of you. Okay, so get one of them books, folks. Books are knowledge. Books is power. Not Facebook, Instagram reels and YouTube videos. Reading is powerful and it's fruitful to your mind and the way you think. Okay, and your vocabulary. So get one of them books of wisdom today. It's going to be at the very bo bottom. At the top of the comments, yo. All right. Also, listen. So y'all know I'm on TikTok too. Okay, I'm on TikTok at Trend the Big Bro. I think that's what it is. The Big Bro. Yeah, at Trend the Big Bro. At Trend the Big Bro on TikTok. Okay, I get a lot of views on TikTok, y'all, and I don't follow nobody. But I'm doing something new. If you want to be the person I follow, and I'm only gonna follow one person at a time. All right. If you want to be the person that I follow for X amount of days and you want to be that number one, only one person that I follow when everybody come up to my page, they see you that I follow. Hit me up in the um, email. You can pay for that slot. OK. You can pay me 
to be the person that I follow for X amount of however many amount of days you want based on how much you, you can pay me for because I get a lot of traffic and then when people come to your page, you know they know they be like, who, who is that person he following? You know, they're going to they gonna go to your page. They're going to get all of your stuff. They're going to see your business, your brand, and it can help elevate you. So if you need that TikTok promotion, hit me up on my email, trendysanderson at gmail.com. Again, look in the comment section, the description section for all the information. And I'm going to put you as my only follower on TikTok for how many days you need it. Um, also, fellas out there, y'all know I stream on my other channel too. I stream on my game channel, okay? And if you want to be a part of my team, TGSY, on Call of Duty, or whatever, uh, Madden, if you play on Madden, okay, I'm streaming, I stream every single night on my other channel, okay, so if you want to be a part of my team, my team, look in the comment section, in the description section, you'll see my, uh, my handle on PlayStation 5, you'll see Trend GX3, okay, so and you know it's cross-play nowadays, so if you got Xbox and all that, we still can play together, but anyway, uh, link up with me, Tonight, y'all, I'm going to be live streaming on my um, PlayStation channel, on my own Call of Duty and stuff like that. Um, link up, man. But that's in, that's all I got for y'all, man. I got to get on this field, man. It's your big bro trend, man. I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Remember, chosen ones, if they hurt you, they did you wrong, let it happen. Let it let it, let it rock because God going to take care of them. Comment below and say God going to take care of them, man. Peace, God, blessings. Keep God number one in your life, man. Jesus Christ is number one, man. Peace.